Do you guys get that crappy little arm bump thing? I haven't vaulted in like two years and I still have it. It's like a pole vault tattoo. This vlog will help you. This vlog will help it so it does. This vlog will teach you how to. This vlog will help. Do you want to make it so it doesn't hurt so bad? Watch this vlog. Welcome to the pole vault vlog. We talk about everything pole vault. That's the fastest way and easiest way to say it so I don't have to like talk forever, but I realize I'm talking forever. Right? For me to be able to keep doing these, I. <laughs> Instead of getting a real job and not having time to do these, I have to find a way to make a little bit of money doing this. And here's what we're gonna try for a while. On my website, team I don't know if you can see it. It says Amazon. It doesn't cost you a thing, but if you find yourself shopping on Amazon or your parents do or whoever else, go to team click on that link, and it brings you to Amazon. And this is how it kind of works is Amazon's like, hey, thanks for sending people to my site. Here's a little bit of money. And hopefully that'll help. Um, offset some of the cost to be able to keep doing these. So if you like these... All right, let's get to business. This past week, I had a meeting with with a thrower, a professional thrower who's doing the same thing that I'm doing that I did four years ago with all those vlogs and documenting my training. Uh, I've been doing this thing recently where I've been waking up at 6 a.m., get an extra hour or two in the day, get a little bit more work done, do more things, got my coffee. His name's Sean. I'm gonna put a link to the description in the YouTube here. They're freaking awesome. He just like single leg pressed a world record. <laughs> His vlogs are awesome. So if you want something that's not always pole vault, but a little bit of throwing that's still track and field, Check this out. There's also a link if you go to my main page of Jason Antencio's vlog and Marshall Jasperson's vlog. The new one had my little brother Kyle in it. Ooh! Remember the arm thing I talked about in the intro? I actually made a video on my other channel. I'll link it right. The power of video editing magic. Uh, it's the best armband I ever found. I did a whole review on my other channel so you can check it out. Help support the channel so it doesn't die. Not a lot to happen in pole vault news except Eliza McCartney, last year's Olympic bronze medalist, just jumped a national record. She jumped 481. My, did I say that right? Let me see if it was 481. Oh my god, I screwed up. It's 482. I'm sorry, 482. Which is freaking high right now. But before that, Jen Schur had the world lead, which was at 481. But to keep this in perspective, Jen Schur is 35 years old. I can barely run down the street without wanting to, my leg wanting to be like, hey, I don't like you. Sense. Now holds the master's record that was held by Stacer Degila at 15-1, which is now 15-7. She's a girl, by the way. I love seeing both sides. I like seeing Jen, who's been in the sport forever, and I love seeing the new blood coming in, and they're, they're both very, very relevant right now. It's really fun to watch. That's it. I don't know what else is. I don't know how to end this section, and I keep trying to find... All right, let's review some videos. Last week's video review question or <laughs> word was pole vault booger, but I got someone from <laughs> Europe that put pole vault bugger. Maybe he thought it meant bugger? Because I, I have an accent compared. All right, first video is from Steven, since his little sister Trisha, who's saying he, he's, he just doesn't want that bottom arm slapping her in the face. And the best advice I have for that is what I told him is, when you when you try and when you watch a kid plant to the wall, they push up and into the pole, right? But for some reason they lose it when they're running full speed down the pit. So I always say like pretend you're trying to push the box into the wall behind you. And if you can push up and into that and then feel that stretch in your shoulders, that's gonna make a huge difference. And we talked about a couple other things too. But that was the big one. So if we can watch it again, it's just down low. It's always if you have more people in your, let's say you have, you're just using one arm, you have one person in your army. Let's throw another person in your army. Your army just became twice as strong. That's kind of the idea. So good looking jump. And then he sent me a video a couple weeks or a week later. Right idea. So it's getting away from her head a little bit like you want. Now that hit just has to happen first. Just the first hit. Don't let the pole hit you first and then he punch back because then you're in a defense position. You need to be in an offense position. You hit the pole first and then everything's gonna look good. Looks really good. Thanks for sending them. All right, this is a uh, Sonny, Sony, Sone. I'm terrible at reading. Oh yes, I remember this jump. So fast and strong. Yeah, I love it. So, I mean, he was saying, well, it doesn't look like he's swinging hard enough, and it doesn't look like he's turning right, and all this inversion stuff. But really, it's like those are symptoms of of what's happening. Like, where, where's the first problem? Where's the first kink in the chain? And 
from what I see is that tips just high way too long and that changes your whole perspective perspective on stuff so even right here man he's getting ready to plant and still above his head and then it drops really fast throws his run off a little bit and then I when people tend to drop their pole late they lean so I told him just get that tip down a little bit sooner we're already kind of half loaded again so if he has that tip down sooner he'll be able to have a more horizontal takeoff create a bigger swing and he's just gonna blow up the next couple stuff. So fixing the first chain in your sequence of chains usually corrects a lot of the other stuff. So if you try and fix something at the end, but you're not fixing the first thing, then you might just screw everything else up down the road. So always fix what happens first in the chain of sequence. Good jump, man. I can't wait to see the next video and see how it goes. All right, this one is from Us, Osvald, As Osvaldus. I hope I said your name right. I am so crappy at saying names. Good jump, man. So, I mean, God, I know I say this every single week because it's the biggest thing that kind of hurts people. But let's watch this plan here. So, pole just made contact with the back of the box right there. Got a bend in this elbow. And you're just getting rocked back. So there's this cool thing in, in a biomechanics where it's called opposite symmetrics. So opposite symmetrics, so let's break it down. So opposite side does the same thing but in the opposite way so like when you walk your left foot goes forward but your right hand goes back and the same happens then when you switch like your hands go in the opposite motion as your feet same thing happens in the pole vault if your arm is bent and behind you your leg is going to be bent in front and it's going to look like you're under when really you're not under your plant just sucks or it's late I, your plant didn't suck but i'm talking about somebody else really focus on planning forward and at one o'clock because if your hand goes up and forward your legs gonna go down and back where you want it so then you're gonna have this awesome it's just everything works better that way and that's how your body works arm back boom you're under and you're at this takeoff position arm forward your foot goes back and your arms work like this opposite symmetrics so that's a long way of saying get your plan up at one o'clock <laughs> I hope that makes some sense, man. But that's gonna make night and day different. And this little bend in the elbow makes your leg be bent and then you're under. So you gotta lock and put your shoulder on your ear, not your bicep, your shoulder. Reach it up and lock everything. Good jump though, man. You're gonna blow it up once you figure out some of that little stuff out. This is from John. Nice. Holy, fast and powerful, dude. Exactly what I told the last guy. Like, let's, let's check out this arm again. Still bent, and then we're at this backwards kind of angle takeoff. We're, we're um, leaning back. It looks like we're leaning back, and really it's just because our arms are planting in the wrong spot. So that happens. And then from here, it's just throwing both hands as hard as you can sooner. And then it looks super good, man. But yeah, same, same thing as the last guy. And those little tweaks are gonna just make this huge difference in your vault. I, I'm like excited and scared about how awesome this is gonna look when you fix it. Really, really good. All right, last but not least, this is Ryan. All right, Ryan, let's check this out here. Nice, man. So kind of like I said with the first, I think it was the first one, one, one of the videos I've just, my brain is mush today. But I want you to hit that box like it's been talking crap about your mom. Hit the pole like it's been talking crap about your mom. Break that pole, try and push that pole through the pit and to the other side of the stadium. And everything's gonna change, man. Our arms are up, and then we're just kinda hanging on, it looks like. Hanging, 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 hanging. Now we're starting to throw our hands. So if you can hit that first hit, and then throw like right away. There are no pat, whoop, whoa, zoom. There are no passive movements in the ball. Everything is aggressive, this is a contact sport. If this, this is fighting, not dancing. Fight. Hit, hard, aggressive, adjective. That's what you need to do. And it's gonna look awesome and you're already jumping awesome. It's just gonna make it awesomer. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, pull ball. Thanks for sending videos, guys. Guys, I forgot. Oh, I do have the mic on. Hey guys, I forgot to uh, review this video. So let's review this video quick here. Nice little jump, so fast. So I just told him to think about when you plant the pole, think about going straight from your hip, straight to where you want to plant it. Like a straight line is the closest distance between two points. Well, instead of going around the back and taking uh, the scenic route, just straight plant. And you do that, man, and you're gonna put way more energy into that pole. Yeah, and then everything else is gonna just 
correct itself too. Sick jump, man. Sorry I missed ya. I guess I look the same, except I should have taken these off. Okay, bye. If you go to team shootcom in the products section in my store, you can five dollars and I'll review your video no matter what. You don't have to like hope you get it in soon enough. Five bucks, you get a review. And if you're one of the first five, you can make the blog. Almost all of them paying their five bucks and it helps me buy Chipotle because I love Chipotle. If you would like to be in next week's video, let's make it, um, pole vault fire is the keyword. So I, I will only review videos that have pole vault fire and or if, well, for sure, if you donate to my Chipotle fund. And if I had enough Chipotle that week, I can probably pay off these student loans I'm not using to make any money. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, please use the Amazon banner ad as it's super, super important and I want to see if it can help support these so I can keep making them because if you guys like them then I would like to keep making them. I feel like pressure to go get a real job. So all you gotta do is click on the, click on the button, team-shoot.com, Amazon, it's fucking really hard, I don't know why, I just can't stop! Life's meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. Last question, what would you like next week's video to be on? I'm gonna let you guys choose. I can either make it why planting at one o'clock is super important and why the plant is the most important part of the pole vault, two, how to keep a straight trail leg or three another invert video those are the questions i've been getting a lot and i'll let you guys decide the video so let me know in the comments below and that's what we'll do see ya